one too. Too much coffee. Jeez. What are you shooting? That was horrible. What are you shooting though? CZ? Yeah. That's a great gun though. Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to take a quick look at my CZ P07 and why now it is perfect for me. It may not be the things you're looking for, but it is perfect for me. So walking around the pistol, of course we started with a stock P07 and we added the Olight Valkyrie Mini 1. Then we stippled the front and rear of the grip, added the plus two base plate to the original 15 round mag, installed suppressor height sights, and milled it for the Holosun 407C. Now the gun was cleared, it's got a snap cap, but it was safety checked prior to the video. But just to show the people that need to see, it has been safety checked. So going back to the mag, Nothing special there except the plus two base plate. So 17 plus one is very respectable. Olight Valkyrie Mini Light. It works fine and may not be the best and brightest and the bestest of the bestest out there, but it works just fine. And I love the way that it's just so easy to install and to remove if you need to move it around, change it to a different pistol, whatever you need to do with it. It works fine. Guide rod is the factory guide rod, didn't do anything there. And like I mentioned, suppressor height sights, front and rear. The rear we installed in front of the Holosun and that was done so we can put the optic as far back as possible. The Holosun is the 407C like I mentioned, not the 507 or whatever the newest one is. I didn't really care for the extra options and the extra price that came with them, so the 407C works just fine for me. It's got the normal landing pads that you get from factory. Moving down to the grip, the side texture is the same. We didn't do anything there, and by the way, all the work was done by ZR Tactical in Noblesville, Indiana. He does fantastic work, and it's not too far away from me. The side of the grip we left exactly the same. Nothing was done. I didn't want any extra texture on the side. If I chose to carry this pistol, which I do from time to time, I didn't want it rubbing too much against my soft baby skin. The back strap and the, the back strap was stippled and the front of the grip was stippled as well. The texture, let it catch up, is not too, too aggressive, but it's aggressive enough that gives you a good grip and is not gonna go anywhere. I think he did a good job on matching the texture of the, of the side. The rear is actually the back strap is actually a little bit more aggressive than the front. I'm not sure if that's how he intended it to do, but that's the way it turned out, and I actually liked it, like it quite a bit. The trigger is by Cajun Gunworks. Now we purchased all the parts separately and installed it here by ZR Tactical. So this was not done at Cajun Gunworks, but it's got the full trigger kit by Cajun Gunworks. So again, checking clear. And let me show you, let the focus catch up. But it is buttery smooth now. There's no grit, nothing. You're right there at the wall. Then you're gonna get a little bit of creep to there, and then it breaks. And the reset, it goes a little bit further out than I'd like. But it's very crisp, very tactile. And then you're back, you're right there at the wall, and it breaks. Just amazingly smooth. It's not gonna be in the category of a Shadow Shadow 2 or the Phoenix Redback, but for what it is, for a combat pistol, self-defense pistol, it is absolutely amazing. So this is what we did. Um, oh, before I forget, just so you know what I use, because I know the question is gonna pop up, what sites did you use? Well, the rear sight was by Ameriglow and an interesting story there for their customer service because I ordered this, this was originally not meant to be supplied by Ameriglow for this review, but I ordered this within, and I 
uh, with intention of paying for it. And something happened, everybody's working with small staffs because of what's going on health-wise to the virus thingy, whatever you want to call it. And uh, my order never got shipped and I wanted to have it ready for this review. So Ameriglow was very apologetic and um, they sent this uh, for to the channel, they provided it to the channel for free um, as a kind of an I'm sorry for messing up the order. So very, thank you very much and great customer service. The front sight is by Dawson Precision. Now this one I had a little bit of a problem with it and it was it is not their fault. It was 100% me having two brain cells and one fell asleep when I was ordering. And what happened was I ordered the front sight that was a little too high for what I needed to co-witness with the rear sight. So the sight, the front sight was higher, substantially higher actually than the rear sight. So ZR Tactical filed it down, re it, and now it's a perfect co-witness as you can see here. Sorry about the extra coffee I had this morning, a little bit shaky. But there it is, CZ P07. It is finally perfect for me. I love, love, love this pistol. What do you think of it? Do you have a PL7? Have you done any work to it? What have you done? And why is yours perfect for you? Thank you very much as always for watching. Please consider following me on Instagram. I'm pretty active there as well. And I try to upload videos uh, on Wednesday nights when I can and for sure on Friday morning. So keep an eye out for that. Click that notification bell, subscription button if you feel so inclined so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you very much. Stay safe and until the next one, God bless.